So another sweet child thing. Um, we were out with the kids on the weekend, just having some fun, doing some fun family things. And um, I had dropped into the grocery store. They were all in the car. I ran to the grocery store for a second. Um, they were in the car with my husband. And I came out with the things that I meant to get, but I forgot to get my son a Kinder Surprise. He loves Kinder Surprises, and I told him on my way in, I said, Mommy, back in a minute, and Mommy, buy you a Kinder Surprise. But then I went through and I forgot. And I was packed everything in the car, and I sat in the car, got ready to go, I had keys and ignition, I thought, oh no, I forgot. So I said to the kids, I said, I'm going to go back in and get him his Kinder Surprise. And somebody says, well, are you really going to go back in? I says, no, I promised I was going to get one, and I always keep my word. And then out of nowhere, my, my second youngest says, Mom, you're a really great mom. She says, a lot of moms wouldn't do that. I says, no. I said, if I want, this, if I want somebody, you kids to trust me that when I say I'll get this on payday, I'll get this later, if I want you to trust me, then I have to keep my word when I say that. And I find all of them do, even Jackson, who has, who has is autistic and is lower functioning, um, even he believes me when I say I'll do this on payday. I make a note of it on my phone. I have a little notepad for all my groceries. And he watches me mark it down. Then he goes in the room and he's content. And if I want him to be like that, I always have to keep my word. I just thought it was really sweet that my kids were saying, Mom, you know, you're a really great mom. And I thought, thank you. <laughs> I like it when they think that. Anyway, it was a sweet moment. Talk to you later.